Hey, this is Austin Harmon with Austin Harmon Mixes, and today I bring you an all new format with all new gear and all new quality to this channel. I'm super excited to bring this new content to you in this format. We've invested a lot in gear and equipment to bring this content to life. Today, I'm going to walk you through a basic EQ on an actual console that we have in the room with us. This is my studio. Super excited to share this with you. If you're a church that is live streaming and you're not super satisfied with the live stream, send us an email, sales at the pin group. I and my team would love to help you with your live stream and with your audio to make it sound super fantastic. We'd absolutely love to help. Please send us an email and we'll see you soon. Okay, so today we're looking at an Allen & Heath QU16 console. Now the nice part about this console is that it's very easy to use, and today we're going to be working through the EQ section. Now what does EQ do? EQ means equalization, and in this case on the Allen & Heath QU16 we have a parametric equalization unit. That means that we have multiple bands that we can actually adjust the sound as we desire, we can either increase the sound or we can decrease the sound based on how we hear what's coming into the desk. Now the basics of EQ are simple. We have a line represented here on the display down the middle. That is basically zero. So anything at the line is not going to go up or go down. Now what do I mean by that? If I take one of these knobs and I push up, you can see on the display here that there's a large area that goes up above the line. What that is called is that's called a boost. Now whenever we're above the line, we are adding frequency or adding audio to that section of the sound spectrum. On this particular desk, we have 20,000 20, hertz on the high end and 20 hertz all the way down on the low end. That's the spectrum of how we hear and I can actually adjust this increase anywhere along the spectrum that I desire. Now I can also decrease down below the line and I can go either way as I desire. Now why would we want to do this? Not every microphone is perfect and whenever we pick up audio we want to accentuate specific parts of the sound and we want to eliminate specific parts of the sound. So in real time I'm going to switch over to my voice as you hear and I'm going to do the same process of actually increasing the audio and decreasing the audio, but you're going to be able to hear as I talk. Now I'm going to tell a pointless story about my lovely assistant, Watchman, who's behind the camera here, as I talk. Once upon a time, me and Watchman were at the church, and as you can hear, as I scan around through my voice, you can hear the changes in my voice as I scan around here. Once upon a time, me and Watchman went on a trip together to go see a very good friend of ours. And as I work up here towards the high end, you can kind of hear the sibilance, the in my voice. And as I work down here towards the low end, you can hear the bottom end get deeper. I sound like a radio assistant here. Now, now that you can hear what EQ is doing, let's talk about how we actually can use it to our advantage. Now, the microphone that I'm using today is a lavalier microphone. Now the microphone is pretty common in the church environment, but it doesn't sound exceptionally good. So we're going to make some EQ adjustments to help it sound just a little bit better. Now, complementing the equalization section is what we call a high pass filter. Now most digital consoles these days come with a high pass filter. It's off just to the left of the EQ section. This works in concert with EQ. Now what a high pass does is it passes the highs which in my opinion is one of the dumbest names for, a, for a, a, a setting on a console ever because it's very confusing. But high pass literally means pass the highs. So when you adjust the high pass filter, you're actually turning down the low end of the source. So as I work this high pass filter up, you can hear my voice is gonna start sounding very thin and very shrill. And as I work it down, you can hear the body come back in my voice. Now for the purposes of a vocal, which is my voice, I'm going to sit the high pass filter just below 
the body of my voice so that we kind of eliminate the popping the pop, 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 that comes through the mic. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work from the bottom up. So I have a low end knob here. So I'm going to just kind of boost this around, scan around and find something I kind of like or don't like in this case. And then I have this knob here at the top. It's called the width or the Q in some cases. I can spin this and kind of make it bigger or smaller as I desire. And I'm just going to pull that down. Now when I do, that's going to take out 5.5 dB, which is decibels, at 265 hertz. Now as I move this around, sorry, as I move the low end around, you can see the low end frequency change on the desk here. Now we're at around 100 hertz and now we're at about 500 hertz. Now I'm going to sit this back around 160 hertz ish and I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit and about 5 dB of reduction there. Now that's going to sound probably significantly more clear. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of grab out here in the 500 hertz section and I'm going to reduce that down and now what we have should be a much cleaner sound you can hear a lot more highs in the voice and it shouldn't sound as boxy or, or as if you put your hands over the microphone. EQ is very powerful and it can be used to realistically change and transform your mix from a kind of muddy, kind of flabby sounding thing to something that sounds really good. In fact, there's professional audio engineers that tour with big name acts that say, all you need is just some EQ and compression, and you can make anything sound great. This has been a session on equalization with Austin Harmon Mixes. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Or if you had a question of something I didn't cover, leave a comment below. I would love to answer your question and connect with you. This video was actually requested by one of the subscribers of this channel, and I would love to continue to make a content that you would like to see. Thanks for joining everybody and I'll see you next time.